Installation Rules, Part 6, SANS 101-42-1, Section 3, Definitions. Definitions for the purposes of this part of SANS 101-42, the following definitions apply. Accessible, not permanently closed in by the structure or surfaces of the premises. Appliance, class 1 appliance, appliance that has at least basic installation throughout and that is provided with an earthing terminal or earthing contact and is designed, in the case of a single face, for connection by means of a three-core flexible cord. Class 2 appliance. Appliance that has double insulation or reinforced insulation or both throughout and that is without provision for earthing. Fixed appliance. Appliance that is fastened or otherwise secured at a specific location and that would require the use of tools to be moved to another location. Portable appliance. Appliance that is moved in the course of normal operation. Stationary appliance. Appliance that is normally not moved or cannot easily be moved while in operation. Arms reads. Volume that is limited by the relevant of the following distances measured from a surface expected to be occupied by persons. See Annex A. 2.5 meter vertically upwards, 1.25 meter, meter vertically downwards from the outer edge of the surface, 1.2 meter horizontally outwards from the outer edges of the surface, and 0.75 meter horizontally inwards from the outer edges of the surface and underneath the surface. Authorized. Authorized by the relevant regulator. Bathroom. Room or part of a room that contains a bath, shower or spa or any combination of these, it's installed as a fixture. See figures 7.1.1 to 7.1.5. Building element. Part of a premises such as a wall, floor, ceiling or partition. Cable. Armored cable. Cable that has a car covering of metallic wires or galvanized steel wires or steel tape as a protection against mechanical damage. Flexible cable. Cable of which the conductors consists of strands of diameter not exceeding 0.51 mm and of which the insulation and covering are such that they afford flexibility in which the nominal cross-sectional area of each conductor exceeds 4 mm squares. Flexible cord, cable of which a, the nominal cross-sectional area of each conductor does not exceed 4 mm squared and each conductor consists of strands of diameter less than 0.31 mm. Mineral insulated metal sheathed cable. Cable in which the conductors are insulated by a highly compressed refractory mineral insulating material such as magnesia and are contained in a solid drawn hard metal sheath. Multi-core cable. Cable that contains at least two cores. Unarmored metal sheathed cable. Cable that has a sheath of metal to exclude moisture from the conductors and their insulation. Certificate of Compliance, COC. 
certificate that is issued by a registered person in respect of an electrical installation or part of an electrical installation. Chief Inspector Chief Inspector in terms of the relevant health and safety legislation. Circuit Protected Extra Low Voltage PELV Circuit Extra Low Voltage ELV Circuit with protective separation from other circuits and which, for functional reasons, may be earthed and or the exposed conductive parts of which may be earthed. Note, PELV circuits are used where the circuits are earthed and SELV is not required. Note 2, C7.1.14.2 for additional safety precautions when SELV ELV and PELV circuits are used in hazardous locations. Safety Extra Low Voltage Circuit SELV. Extra Low Voltage ELV circuit with protective separation from other circuits and which has no provision for earthing of the circuit or of the exposed conductive parts. Circuit Breaker Mechanical switching device that is capable of making, carrying and breaking currents under normal circuit conditions and of making, carrying for a specified time and automatically breaking currents under specified abnormal circuit conditions such as those of overcurrent. See also SANS 556-1. Note, see also multiple circuit breaker. Conductive part Exposed conductive part Conductive part that can easily be touched and is not a live part under normal conditions but can become live under fault conditions. Extraneous conductive part Conductive part that does not form part of the electrical installation. Note examples of, of extraneous Conductive parts are structural metal work of a building, items such as heating tubes and non-electrical apparatus electrically connected to them such as radiators and gas-fired or coal-fired cooking appliances and floors or walls made of conductive material. Conductor Aerial conductor Conductor that is supported above the ground and that is, or its installation, insulation is, exposed direct to the open air. See also SANS 1418-1. Bonding conductor. Conductor including any clamp or terminal that connects together exposed conductive parts. C3.13.1. Extraneous conductive part C3.13.2 or both exposed and extraneous conductive parts with the object of bringing such parts to the same electrical potential. Core Single insulated conductor without protective covering. Earthing continuity conductor. Earthing conductor including any clamp or terminal that connects to the consumer's earth terminal to the exposed conductive parts of an installation for the purpose of earthing such parts and carrying fault currents. Functional bonding conductor. Conductor provided for functional equipotential bonding. Functional earthing conductor. Earthing conductor provided for functional earthing. Protective bonding conductor. Protective conductor provided for protective equipotential bonding. Protective conductor PE. Conductor provided for purposes of safety, protection against electric shock, and that also connects to the supply earth to the consumer's earth terminal. Protective earthing conductor. Protective conductor provided for protective earth. 
conduit pipe, usually of diameter not exceeding 50 mm, that allows conductors and cables in electrical installations to be drawn in and to be replaced. Consumer Person who is supplied or who is to be supplied with electricity by a supplier or a person who supplies his own electricity. Consumer's earth terminal Terminal that is effectively and permanently earthed and to which the earth continuity conductor of an installation is permanently connected. Contactor Remote controlled switching device that is capable of making, carrying and breaking currents under normal operation conditions, including overload. Converter Machine or device for converting one form of electrical power to a different form of electrical power. Cord See flexible cord. Current Conditional short circuit current, the value of prospective current, which the equipment, when protected by a short circuit protective device as specified by the manufacturer, can withstand for the operating time of the device under specified test conditions. Earth fault current, fault current that flows to earth. Earth leakage current. Current that flows to earth in an electrically undamaged circuit. Fault current. Current that results from an insulation failure or from the bridging of insulation. Overcurrent. Current that exceeds the rated current. Note 1. Depending on its magnitude and duration, an overcurrent might or might not be harmful. Note 2. In the case of conductors, the current carrying capacity is deemed to be the rated current. Overload current Overcurrent that occurs in an electrically undamaged circuit. Prospective short circuit current Value of overcurrent at a given point in a circuit which results from a fault of negligible impedance between live conductors that have a difference of potential under normal operating conditions or between a live conductor and an exposed conductive part. Shock current. Current that passes through the body of a person or an animal and that has such a value depending on frequency, harmonics and duration that injury is likely to occur. Short circuit current. Overcurrent that results from a fault of negligible impedance in a circuit. Discharge lamp. Lamp in which light or radiant energy at a wavelength near that of the visible spectrum is produced by the passage of an electrical current through a vapor or gas. Discharge lighting. Lighting that is provided by luminaires in which discharge lamps are used. Disconnector, mechanical switching device that A, for reasons of safety, provides in the open position an isolating distance in accordance with specified requirements. B, is capable of opening and closing a circuit either when negligible current is broken or made or when no significant change in the voltage across the poles of the disconnector occurs and C is capable of carrying currents under normal circuit conditions and of carrying for a specified time currents under specified abnormal conditions such as those of short circuit. Note, a disconnector was known as an offload isolator. Distribution board. Switchboard switch gear and control gear assembly and closure that contains electrical equipment for the distribution or control of electrical power from one or more incoming circuits to one or more outgoing circuits. Earthed, so connected to the general mass of earth as to ensure at all times an immediate discharge of electrical energy without danger. Earth electrode, one or more conductive parts that are embedded in the earth for the purpose 
of making effective electrical contact with the general mesh of the earth. Earthing arrangement. Earthing conductor. Conductor including any clamp or terminal by which the connection of the consumer's earth terminal or conductor to an earth electrode or to the supplier's protective conductor is made. Earthing terminal. Terminal fitted to equipment or to a device and intended for the electrical connection with the earthing arrangement. Functional earthing. Earthing of a point or points in a system or in an installation or in equipment which is necessary for purposes other than safety. Main earthing terminal. Bus bar terminal or bus bar that is part of the earthing arrangement of an installation that enables the electric connection of a number of conductors for earthing purposes. Protective earthing. Earthing of a point or points in a system or in an installation or in equipment for purposes of safety. Earth leakage protection. Form of protection in which an earth leakage unit is used. Earth leakage unit, device that is capable of detecting the flow of a specified or predetermined current from a circuit to earth and of disconnecting automatically and reliably the affected circuit within a specified time when such current exceeds the specified or predetermined value. Electrical consultant, person who is registered in terms of of the Engineering Profession Act 2000. Electrical equipment, item or any combination of items including wireways which is used for the generation, conversion such as of voltage or frequency, transmission or distribution of electrical energy. Electrical installation, machinery in or on any premises that is used for the transmission of electrical energy from a point of control to a point of consumption, anywhere on the premises, including any article that forms part of such installation, irrespective of whether or not it is part of the electrical circuit, but excluding any machinery of the supplier that is related to the supply of electricity on the premises, any machinery that is used for the transmission of electricity of which the voltage does not exceed 50 volts, where such electricity is not derived from the main supply of a supplier, and any machinery that transmits electrical energy in telecommunication, television or radio circuits. Electrode water heater. Device that is designed to heat water or other liquid by passing electricity between electrodes immersed in the water or liquid. This device may convert water to steam. Note, a resistor that is in contact with liquid is in effect an electrode. Enclosure, part that provides protection of equipment against certain external influences and in any direction protection against direct contact. Equipotential bonding. Equipotential bonding terminal. Terminal fitted to equipment or to a device and intended for the electric connection with the equipotential bonding system. Functional equipotential bonding. Equipotential bonding for purposes other than safety. Protective equipotential bonding. Equipotential bonding for purposes of safety. Fault free. Arrangements of conductors which, under normal operating conditions, the occurrence of a short circuit fault between phases or between phases and earth is only a remote possibility. Fire officer. Officer or any person to whom such power has been duly delegated, who is appointed by a local authority to administer its bylaws and any relevant statutory regulations relating to fire protection. Flammable, descriptive of a material that when heated for 5 minutes in an oven at 300 degrees Celsius 
in the manner set out an appropriate standard such as SAN 556-1 is capable of burning or of giving off vapors in sufficient quantity to ignite at a pilot flame. Flexible conduit. Tubing that is intended to house and to protect electric wiring and that is so designed that it is flexible. Flexible cord C3.9.3 Fuse Device that by the melting of one or more of its specifically designed and dimensioned elements opens the circuit in which it is inserted if the current that flows through it exceeds the rated current for a specified time. Note, a fuse comprises all the parts that form the complete device. Hazardous location. Location in which fire or explosion may occur owing to the presence of gases, vapors, dust or fibers that, in the presence of air and in certain concentrations, since are flammable or explosive. Note C Sands 10108 for the classification of hazardous locations. Insulation Basic insula insulation. Insulation applied to life parts to provide basic protection against electric shock. Note basic insulation does not include insulation used for functional purposes, for example, wire enamel. Double insulation. Insulation that comprises both basic insulation and supplementary insulation, usually indicated by the double insulation symbol. Reinforced insulation. Single insulation system applied to live parts, which provides a degree of protection against electric shock equivalent to double insulation. Note the term insulation system does not imply that the insulation is one homogeneous piece. It may comprise several layers that cannot be tested singly as supplementary or basic insulation. Supplementary insulation. Independent insulation applied in addition to basic insulation in order to provide protection against electric shock in the event of failure of the basic insulation. Lighting system. Emergency lighting. System that provides sufficient illumination to replace the existing safety and normal lighting system in the event of a power failure so that people can evacuate a place of assembly. Normal lighting. System that provides general illumination but does not necessarily provide illumination of exit routes. Safety lighting. System that provides sufficient illumination to allow, allow all the occupants of a place of assembly to see clearly enough during a performance to move around or to leave. Such a system includes illuminated exit signs that indicate the exit routes for all occupants of a place of assembly, including areas such as projector rooms, control rooms and orchestra pits. Live. Alive at an electrical potential to earth. Note, live parts include the neutral conductor and conductive parts connected to it. Local authority. Municipal council, borough council, town council, village council, village management board, town board, yelf board or any such institution. Lumine. Appliance that distributes, filters or transforms the light transmitted from one or more lamps and that includes all the parts necessary for supporting, fixing and protecting the lamps but not the lamps themselves and, when necessary, circuit auxiliaries together with the means for connecting them to, to the supply. Note, a batten lamp holder or lamp holder suspended by a fl flexible cord is a lumine. Marina, fixed wharf, jetty, pier or floating pontoon arrangement capable of berthing or mooring more than one pleasure craft. Multipole circuit breaker, circuit breaker in which all poles are mechanically connected together 
and that is suitable for making, carrying and breaking the currents in all the phase conductors or, if so required, in all the live conductors of a circuit. New, innovative descriptive of the, a technique or item of equipment for use in an electrical installation where such technique or item of equipment does not fall within the scope of a standard. Place of assembly, theater, cinema, church or any other place where people gather and where natural lighting is inadequate to allow for safe evacuation. Note, adjacent areas are treated as separate places of assembly. Plug, device that has two or more metallic contacts in the form of pins, is arranged for attachment to a flexible cord or cable and is intended for engagement with a socket outlet. Point of consumption. Point of outlet or the supply terminal of machinery that is not connected to a point of outlet and that converts electrical energy to another form of energy, provided that in the case of machinery that has been installed for any specific purpose as a complete unit, the point of consumption is the supply terminals that have been provided on the unit of machinery for that purpose. Point of control. Point at which a consumer can, or on or in any premises, switch off the electrical installation from the electricity supplied from the point of supply. Point of outlet. Termination of an electrical installation which has been provided for connecting any electrical machinery without the use of a tool, provided that no connection to a bus bar is deemed to be a point of outlet. Point of supply. Point at which a supplier supplies electricity to any premises. Pole. Portion of a switching device associated exclusively with one electrically separated conductor path of its main circuit and excluding those portions that provide a means for mounting and operating all poles together. Note, a switching device is called single pole if it has only one pole. If it has more than one pole, it may be called multipole, two pole, three pole, etc. Provided that the poles are or can be coupled in such a manner as to operate together. Portable water pump. Pump that can easily be moved from one place to another while connected to the supply. Premises. Place such as a site, building or structure, whether stationary or mobile, that can be electrically wired. Protected socket outlet. Socket outlet combined with or adjacent to and protected by a device that has either overload protection or overcurrent protection. Protective device, unit that comprises one or more fuses or circuit breakers. Protective screening, separation from live parts by means of an interposed conductive screen connected to earth by means of an external protective conductor. Protective separation, Separation between circuits by means of basic and supplementary protection. Basic insulation plus supplementary insulation or protective screening or by provision of equivalent protection, for example, reinforced insulation. Residential installation. Electrical installation in a private dwelling or in an individual dwelling unit including installations in flats, hotels, boarding houses or other residential institutions. Safety supply. Supply of electricity that is obtained from a 
the unearthed secondary circuit of an isolating transformer with limited output voltage specified by the manufacturer or B, any other isolating device that provides equivalent safety and the same degree of separation between the primary and secondary circuits or an isolated generator or a battery that provides a non-earthed supply. Sauna, enclosure in which heat is generated for therapeutic or recreational purposes and that is designed to accommodate one or more persons. Series connected system, cascaded system protection system that allows for the installation of circuit breakers that cannot necessarily be rated to handle the full prospective short circuit current at the point of installation, provided that they are backed up by another fully rated circuit breaker in a predetermined and tested coordination. Shaver supply unit, accessory that embodies an isolating transformer with limited output and one or more socket outlets that allow the use of only one plug at a time. Short circuit protective device, SCPD, device intended to protect a circuit or parts of a circuit against short circuit currents by interrupting the current. Socket outlet, device that has two or more metallic spring contacts designed to accept the corresponding spins of a plug, is designed for fixing onto or into a building element or other flat surface and is arranged for connection to the wiring of an installation. Note, single phase socket outlets that are rated in accordance with SANS 164-6 are used in residential and similar installations may be regarded as equivalent for the purposes of this part of SANS 10142, but because it is intended that the standard rating will in due course be 16 amps only, the use of socket outlets rated at any value other than 16 amps is not recommended with the exception of two contact socket outlets. SPA, container in which water may be heated electrically or agitated electromechanically or both, that is designed to accommodate at least one person and the electrical equipment of which is permanently connected to the electricity supply. Specialized electrical installation, electrical installation such as in a hazardous location as described in SANS 10108, an explosive atmosphere as described in SANS 10086-1, the petroleum industry as described in SANS 10089-2, and a medical location as described in 7.7 of this part of SANS 10142. Standard, applicable compulsory standard or an applicable standard published by the South Standards South Africa or by another standards body whose standards have been referred to in this part of SANS 10142. Stove coupler. Stove connection that complies with the requirements of SANS 60309-1 and of the dimensions as given in SANS 337. Supplier. In relation to a particular installation, any local authority, statutory body or person who supplies, contracts or agrees to supply electricity to that electrical installation. Supply earth terminal, clamp or terminal at the point of supply to which the supply protective conductor is connected. Switch, note a switch may also be capable of making but not breaking short circuit currents. Multipole switch. Switch in which all poles are mechanically coupled together and that is suitable for making, carrying and breaking the currents in all the phase conductors or, if so required, all the live conductors of a circuit. Switch disconnector. Switch that in the open position 
satisfies the isolating requirements specified specified for a disk connector. Note, a switch disk connector was known as an unload isolator. Terminal. Device in or on which conductors can be terminated and that provides substantial electrical connections and support the termination sturdily and safely with a suitable cover if necessary to render it safe. Test report. Report that is issued by a registered person in respect of an electrical installation or part of an electrical installation. Touch voltage. Voltage which, during an insulation fault, appears between simultaneously accessible parts. Note, by convention, the term is used only in connection with protection against indirect contact. Transformers Class 1 transformer Transformer in which protection against electric shock does not rely on basic insulation only, but which includes an additional safety precaution in such a way that means such as an earthing terminal are provided for the connection of accessible conductive parts to the protective earthing conductor in the fixed wiring of the installation so that accessible conductive parts cannot become live in the event of failure of the basic insulation. Note, a class 1 transformer may have parts with double reinforced insulation. Class 2 transformer Transformer in which protection against electric shock does not rely on basic insulation only, but in which additional safety precautions such as double insulation or reinforced insulation are provided, there being no provision for protective earthing or reliance upon installation conditions. Isolating Transformer Transformer with protective separation between the input and output windings, which are electrically separated in order to limit hazards due to accidental simultaneous contacts with earth and live parts with earth, and metal parts that can become live in the event of an insulation fault. A class 2 trans isolating transformer has additional safety precautions such as double insulation or reinforced insulation as no, and, and has no provision for earthing. Safety isolating pra transformer. Isolating transformer designed to supply safety extra low voltage or protected extra low voltage circuits. Voltage. Extra low voltage, ELV. Voltage that does not exceed 50 volts AC or 120 volts DC. Safety extra low voltage, self. Voltage that does not exceed 50 volts AC or 120 volts ripple free DC between conductors or between any conductor and earth in a circuit which is isolated from the supply mains by means such as a safety isolating transformer. Note 1. Maximum voltage lower than 50 volts AC or 120 volts ripple free DC may be specified in particular requirements, especially when direct contact with live parts is allowed. Note 2. The voltage limit should not be exceeded at any load between full load and no load when the source is a safety isolating transformer. Note 3. Ripple free is conventionally defined as an RMS ripple voltage that does not exceed 10% of the DC component. The maximum peak value does not exceed 140 volts for a nominal 120 volt ripple free DC system and 70 volts for a nominal 60 volt ripple free DC system. Low voltage. Voltage that does not, not exceed 1000 volts AC or 1500 volts DC, including ELV. Wireway. Note, a wireway can consist of one or more separate wireway channels, each of which is intended for different services such as installation wiring and telecommunication wiring. 
conjugate C, 3.15. Ducting, closed enclosure that allows insulated conductors and cables in electrical installations to be drawn in and to be replaced. See flexible conduit 3.40. Trunking, closed enclosure that comprises a base with a removable cover that is intended to completely surround insulated conductors and cables in electrical installations and accommodate other electrical equipment, for example, in the case of power skirting. The end. Please subscribe to the channel for more updated information as well as like the video. Thank you.